page R2. Let's say you've got a client and, uh, well, in fact, um, let's say you've got a listing and it's an investment type property, maybe it's a fourplex, maybe it's a 14 sweeter, you know, something that's, uh, that's a good investment that most people are interested in. Well, you get a call from somebody, let's say Winnipeg, and they say, yeah, we've seen your property on MLS and we'd like to make an offer. Well, your first question is, make an offer? I mean, when did you see it? Well, we don't need to see it. We're investors. We're just going to purchase it. We'll forward you an offer, um, you know, by email. So you got to think, are there red flags? There's a lot of red flags. First of all, what's going on? What kind of an offer is the uh, person making? And usually it'll be a full list offer. So if all those things are present, I would say that your antenna has to be up and you have to be aware of a few things. One, there's a group of people that travel across the country teaching everyone how to buy houses with no money down. Mostly they have a couple of rules. One, phone a listing agent. Two, make a full list offer. Three, go in with no money down, ask the seller to carry everything. And really, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. They can make those kinds of offers but it might put your client at risk. So if somebody calls you, wants to make an offer, they've never seen the property, whether they're in town or not in town, I would suggest that your advice to your client is going to be, we need to, we need to proceed with caution. And, it, and if at any time somebody's trying to buy something with no money down, zero money down as far as an investment is concerned, you've got to have your antenna up. You've got to realize at that point that something may not be right. And you know what? Check the speaker's schedules. You know who those speakers are. See if they've been in that city lately and you'll see that's why the activity started. Once again, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Once again, make our team your team.